der G16. With Rubrum now fighting alone in the battle for peace in Orients, we follow the elite combat force of Class Zero deeper into battle as they improve their skills. As seen in our previous report, the cadets battle in groups of three, with each member using a specific weapon. By carefully observing the enemy's movements, the cadets can also perform two kinds of powerful timed strikes. The break site, which deals incredible damage, and the kill site, which eliminates an enemy with a single blow. Class Zero has 14 members that can be called upon in battle. Targets acquired. When one is defeated, he or she remains out of commission for the rest of the operation. However, the fallen squad member can be replaced by another cadet from the reserves. All the members of Class Zero brandish weapons that allow each of them to perform a number of unique special attacks. As the cadets gain experience in combat, more abilities become available. They move very quickly. What shall we do? We do nothing for now. Defeated enemy units leave Phantoma. In turn, the cadets use this Phantoma in order to enhance their magic abilities. The color of the Phantoma harvested indicates its elemental properties. There are three types of offensive magic. Fire, lightning, and ice. Using harvested Phantoma, the cadets can increase the power, range, and speed of their spells. Let's do it together! The three cadets in action can also combine their power to perform a triad maneuver to deal higher damage to a target. Alternatively, one of the cadets can sacrifice his or her life in order to summon a formidable ally. These summoned monsters are called Eidolons. As with any fallen cadet, the sacrificed squad member can be revived by returning to base. With the various tools in their arsenal, Class Zero's combat style is adaptable and intense, and like nothing this reporter has seen before. Throw in the cadet's magic and skill, and the elite combat force of Class Zero is indeed a force to be reckoned with. <laughs>